In this video I want to show the difference between the, using this coil as a generator just as a normal coil would be used and the voltage it puts out. And after I show the voltage it puts out, just turning it by hand, then I'll turn on the circuit that uh, I built a self-oscillating relay switch that shorts out the coil and it just continually buzzes like an old Model T coil and as I as I generate the electricity when it's buzzing it creates a lot higher voltage so I'm going to show first just generating electricity normally and then I'll turn on the relay switch and let it short the coil out with the self oscillating relay switch and you'll see the voltage on the meter in front of you uh, the voltage is set at 600 volt level so when it starts out uh, it should I don't know maybe make 20 some 30 volts uh, normally close to that and then uh, maybe a little more but then when I turn on the relay it'll make uh, considerably a uh, larger amount. Now, if I turn it fast, I could probably get it up 50 volts or more. I'll try to go a little faster. Okay, well that's that's by hand, just normal. And now I'll stop the wheel and start the relay switch, and uh, you'll be able to see what it what it uh, will make in voltage. I'll short this out too and drain the capacitor. I forgot to hook up one of the wires. This wire will dead short the coil constantly if I leave it hooked up when this is off, but when it's connected I have to have this one on. Now there's no, no battery voltage coming into the circuit besides going into the relay switch that just shorts out the coil. The extra voltage you see isn't from the battery, it's just from the coil being shorted and makes a big radiant spike as I generate electricity. There's no power fed to the coil, it's all just generated electricity from the magnets. Now that's 180 volts, 200, 250. I think I can get up around 500. And that's only, I think, like a seven and a half microfarad capacitor. It's a small capacitor. It's a real fast, fast acting capacitor. But that's 190 volts. If you just turn it slow by hand, that's 150, 160. And then if I get it on up, it'll really crack at a three or four hundred.
Now I'll turn off the the relay switch. And I'll show you what it generates again without the shorting effect. Sometimes you'll get a a good spike created as you short it out you'll actually cause a little bit higher voltage but uh, it doesn't create near the amount of output as it does with it on This wire here is just because it's I like the way it sparks. Big difference in voltage though with the with it being shorted out. <laughs> 